everyone so today new video this is the thing because so many DC movies are coming out and I'm not just talking about Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad I'm also talking about the animated movies the killing joke is coming guys so I decided to give you my top 10 favorite DC animated movies yes Now, Assault on Arkham, before they were even thinking about making a Suicide Squad movie, they made this one. And this one is special because it's not based on the usual thing, it's not based on the Timbers, it's not based on the comic books, it's original, and it's based on the Batman Arkham games. You have Harley Quinn there, Deadshot, Captain Boomer, next one, Green Lantern First Flight. Yes, I couldn't keep this guy out of the list. I know a lot of people are thinking, oh, Green Lantern, he's so bad because of the movie with Ryan Reynolds. No, they show you the origin of Hal Jordan and the animation is awesome. So you should check it out and that's it. Let's continue now. Justice League, The New Frontier. It's based on Justice League, The New Frontier. An Eisner Award comic book series. And it keeps the aesthetics. You can see how different they are, how simple the drawings are. But it's just to keep the aesthetics of the golden age of comic books, where you have a bunch of heroes from the golden age, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, meeting for the first time a bunch of heroes from the Silver Age, Green Lantern, Flash, Martian Manhunter. And also you have the whole political theme of the 50s and a bunch of stuff. Next one. Justice League Crisis on Two Earths. In this one, you have the whole Justice League against a bunch of doppelgangers, a bunch of people from a different Earth that are just like them but evil. It's based on the Crisis on Earth 3 and JLA Earth 2 comic books. You have Aquaman, Power Man, Superwoman, not that Superwoman, another Superwoman. And you probably remember them because a few years ago they had the whole Forever Evil thing where they came and they beat everyone for a while and a bunch of evil people were ruling the earth. Next one. Justice League Gods and Monsters. I love this movie. It was a comeback to the Bruce Timbers. Timbers. Paul Dini. Paul Dini and Bruce Tim. It was a comeback to them. It was not Kal-El. It was the son of Sod. It's basically a more violent, a more greedy Justice League. But they are not evil. Give them a chance. Next one. Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. I don't know who doesn't love Batman Beyond. The Batman Beyond series was awesome, the introduction of all these new characters was great, and in this movie the Joker is alive, but why? Who is he? Is he the real Joker? Is he an imposter? Next one. Justice League The Flashpoint Paradox. Also a movie that I love. I know I'm repeating this, but this is a top of movie that I love, and The Flashpoint Paradox is on there. There, on the top. And this is pretty faithful to the comic. You have a new Batman, you have a different Superman, you have a new Shazam, and you have the eternal battle between Flash and the reverse Flash. Yes, next one. In this one, I'm going to put two movies in one because they deserve to be one spot. The Dark Knight Returns. You have an old Batman, a greedy Batman, a Batman that doesn't want to keep going, but he has to. And you have the fight. The fight, Batman v Superman. If you didn't like the live action movie, you would probably like this one. Next one, Batman Under the Red Hood, the coming back of Jason Todd. I know it's probably a spoiler, but you should know by now because this is an old story. Red Hood has been alive for a bunch of time and you have the story of how he got killed and how he came back to get his revenge. Go watch it now, come on, yeah. Next one, Batman, Mask of the Phantasm. This was DC's first time to make an animated full-length movie and it was probably the best. I don't know. I don't know what's the future. I don't know what is going to come now. They grabbed the whole Batman animated series, they put it on the big screen, they had a great story and I'm not going to ruin it for you but you should check it out because I could be just knocking at your door and telling you the end. Go and check it out. Come on. And that was it. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite movie. Let me know if you have a movie that I didn't mention on the list because I like these movies and I want to watch more. I don't know. That's just it. And if you like the video, leave a like to let me know. Share with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It's just the red button over there or the thing over here. 
subscribe and again like I always say bye